It's Randall Bennett from TechV. We're here with Ira from Nokia. We're talking about this little boy, the N900, which is Nokia's flagship phone. This is, uh, you know, Ira, tell me a little about the N900. It's something that people, it seems to have caught fire in some smartphone circles in that, you know, people are sort of into the Nokia devices, really like this. Tell me a little about this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited, sort of like a cult-like love yeah. for the N900. Um, uh, the good cult, not yeah, the bad exactly cult. Not the bad cult. Um, it's great. It's, it's basically all about mobile computing. So it's being able to use your, um, your cell phone as a mobile computer. So instead of, or it's having your mobile computer that can act as a cell phone. Yeah. And you guys are, so, you, this is, it has apps. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's similar to a lot of the other phones. A lot of people compare it to like this guy, the Palm Pre or the iPhone or whatever. Mm -hmm. How does it, in your mind, how does it sort of stack up when you, how does it sort of fit in the mobile marketplace, especially since there are so many phones out there right now? Yeah, and it's a tough decision, um, but I think it boils down to you as a consumer, what you want to do most. So if you're looking for the truest mobile computing experience, sort of like a laptop replacement, yeah. then I really recommend the N900. It's got the so, full keyboard, it feels great in the hand, multitasking, the best mobile browser, um, apps are coming, it's true Linux. So it's maybe a little bit more of an early adopter device. It's got to yeah. be something that, uh, you know, if you love getting into technology and you like exploring new things and you like getting on the blogs and maybe working and searching the forums, if you really want to get engaged with your device, then the N900 yeah. is the right one so for you. So a lot of people will say though, you know, this is a pretty pricey thing. It's not an easy proposition for everyone. What's, what's sort of the deal with pricing and available here? And this has been out for a bit. Um, what's sort of, you know, if, so, if someone wants to pick this up today, yeah. How do they get, get a hold of one of these? It's actually pretty easy to get a hold of the a 900 nowadays if supply is there, yeah. right? It's always kind of supply demand issues. For sure. um, and when we started, the demand was really high and uh, you know the supply wasn't totally matching what we would have liked, but uh, you know we're, we're improving all that, all yeah. the operations so, well, and logistics. So how, much, but, how much is it right now? Uh, 569 on NokiaUSA.com. And then you can also buy it, you can, Amazon's carrying it, Dell's carrying it. And this is an uh, unlocked device, right? You unlocked a, yeah. This isn't just one specific carrier. Now, you know, a lot of people will say like, you know, Nokia, I want to buy your phone, but you know, look at this. I got this for 75 bucks in December. Right. 569 is like a pretty penny. Like, why, why do you think someone would spend 569 for a Nokia device? So it's all about understanding the cost of, yes, you know, an, a subsidized product as we call it, is less expensive out of pocket up front, but you're paying for that over the course of time yeah. because what you're doing is you're basically agreeing to a contract with that operator in in exchange for you know you paying that monthly bill. Whereas an unlocked device, um, you can just buy it, and this is a GSM product. Yeah, so, so you use it on AT&T or Mobile in the U.S. as well as some or, regional, or, regional carriers as well. Yeah, or any European. If you travel to Europe, yeah. if you travel to other regions of the world, you travel to Scandinavia, you just pop in a SIM card and go. And the beauty there is you have no contract. Yeah. So, I so, mean, so essentially, you know, for for you guys, you think it's more of like a mobile computing device, whereas you know maybe the iPhone. I feel like the app. I mean, what's you know someone looking at this is going to say like, I want to, I want to iPhone versus Nokia. I mean, what's what's the yeah. real like? The I real think thing? It, it's more about what's important to you as a user. Like, yeah. do you want to do mobile computing where you want that full keyboard? Switching do you want to watch apps. mobile videos on an 800 by 480 high resolution screen? Okay. You know, it's really understanding what are the apps that you want the most. So, you know, some of the other app stores might will have more apps for now because MIMO is a more yeah. you know newer it's newer it's definitely exactly newer. especially uh, this N900 so it's got to be a, a quality over quantity uh, type thing well let's so, see where it goes i mean it, yeah. i think it's definitely an interesting device and uh, you know you play with it it's well put together so uh, yeah it's uh, we're very proud of it very excited and I, I think you know if you go online you read all the N900 reviews and then the people put the comments and people yeah. are really loving it so yeah. we're excited I think, I think it's hard for people sometimes because they say like the iPhone has so many apps this is so much cheaper I feel like, you know, maybe some people, the early adopters who have that cash, which, you know, 570 is a lot, but if you got it, mm. maybe check it out. Anyway, yeah, definitely. Ira from Nokia, thanks for coming by, really appreciate it. All right, thank it. you. I'm Randall Bennett, right. and I'll catch you time, next time on TechV. Don't forget techv.com for all that stuff. See ya.